One of the easiest, the simplest ways to get your field collected data points as well as the information associated with those positions on the ground that you collected out in the field into an online mapping environment for analysis is with ArcGIS Online. You'll be amazed at how easy and yet powerful it is to do that. Essentially what we're going to do is we're going to use the search function and enter each one of our points individually. Then we're going to tag each one of those points with specific information as well as multimedia, photographs, videos, etc. Let's get started. Let's map those points. Fire up a web browser. Go to ArcGIS.com. This is ArcGIS Online. Once there, select the Map button. Great, I've got a base map. In the upper right is a search box. Go ahead and type in your latitude longitude. In my case, it's the waypoint that we just talked about. I'm remembering to put a minus sign in front of my longitude. Looks good. There's my position. I'm going to drag a box though and zoom in on that point. Now I'm going to change the base map. I've got a variety of choices here. I'm going to select one of the aerial photo choices or satellite image choices. In this case a Bing Maps hybrid. There's our office building and there's the tree that I just collected. At this time this point is a pop-up. I can't really do much with it though. In order to do something with it, I'm going to create an editable layer. I'm going to call it Map Notes. Great. In order to do something with this point, after I've created an editable layer, I've got a whole variety of things that I can add. I'm going to choose a push pin. I'm going to add that push pin right there where my point was. I'm going to call this tree one. There it is, tree one. So I can put some data in there. I can put a link to a URL, a description. I can put a picture in there as well. Let's go ahead and put in a few other fields. I mentioned that I could put a picture in here. All I need is the URL. I'm going to paste a URL pointing to the picture that I took there at that spot. How about a URL? Since it's the ESRI building, I'm going to type in esri.com. Okay, there's my point. I see my metadata that I put in there. I can change the symbol at any time if I want to. Great, there's my information that I entered. Let's go back to details. I can see I've got a map notes layer. And I also have the satellite image base. Click on that point. Ah, there's my tree the trees, I should say, that I took a photograph of and also collected waypoints on. And when I click on the image, it pops me to the esri.com page. 
which is the URL that I put in here. Just one more note. You may have noticed, but the latitude and longitude that I entered in for the position where I was standing on the ground, if I compare that position to the image on this satellite image, I'm really quite happy with the results. I'm not out here in the field. I'm actually right at this first tree. And so comparing the image to the position, even with a low-end GPS receiver, I'm really quite happy with the XY horizontal position accuracy. Now I can go ahead and save this map. I'm going to hit the Save button. And it's going to say, you're not logged in. You need to log in to save. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. A few seconds about metadata are important here. Just like anything you store up on the internet or anything you store locally on your computer. It's important to know what you name things. It's also important to give it descriptive tags so that you can find them later. And if you want to share this, you want to be able to have other people find it as well. So in this case, I'm going to type in some tags. A title, tags, summary, and I'm going to save it to my folder. Okay, I've given it a title, some tags, a summary, and I'm going to save it to my folder on ArcGIS Online. Great! Now to test it, I'm going to go to ArcGIS.com again. I'm logged in so I can look at my content. Hit the My Content tab. Scroll down. I know what I named it. I called it Esri Broomfield Tree Mapping in ArcGIS Online. There it is. But look, I haven't shared it with anybody yet. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then I'm going to edit. So let's go ahead and edit that. I'm happy with the tags and so on. I'm happy with the thumbnail image. The only thing I want to do at this point is I want to be able to share it. So I'm going to hit the share button and I want to share it with everyone. I go back to my content, scroll down, I see my S3 Broomfield project right there, my map project. Looks like it's shared with everyone, which is exactly what I want. May 19th, 2011, which is today's date. I'm going to go ahead and click on that now. There's my thumbnail. It's shared. Underneath the thumbnail, I've got a variety of choices. I'm going to open it with the ArcGIS.com viewer. So not only will it look like this when I open it up, but it'll look like this when anybody opens it up. So try this. Go to ArcGIS Online, search for that map that I just created, and you too will be able to pull this exact thing, same thing up. More importantly, though, you can pull up and create your own maps with your own studies.